All right, it's about time to draw the vacuum on this Honda. This is about the fourth video. Several days ago, I made a video about this. Today, this is the second video. The first video, I just charged it up with three ounces of refrigerant, just enough because we're trying to reseat the front shaft seal and the compressor. Um, we're gonna see together whether this shaft seal holds or not under vacuum. The problem was it could not hold a vacuum more than roughly, I think it was 15 or 17. It's from several days ago, so I don't really remember. It was a low vacuum. It just could not hold a uh, pull of vacuum. So now I have a vacuum down to 380 microns right now. I do not have the fittings engaged. They are not screwed down yet. So now we're gonna screw them down and see if this can pull a vacuum. Did my procedure work? It usually does but not always. And we're at 26, we're doing 27. We're into microns. We're now going into micron. It would not do that before. It wouldn't even go down to 15, 20 something. Can't remember what it was. You gotta look back at the first video. I don't do editing. You guys who follow me know I don't do editing. I don't doctor up. If I make a mistake, I leave it on video. Uh, perfect. We're now going into the microns. So that procedure worked again on this vehicle and Honda has a really big problem with their compressors, not only their condensers. Let me uh, kill this. Oh, we still have a little problem. It's bleeding down. Okay, we may have still a problem and I might have to do a different procedure to do this if that is still leaking and it's not just some refrigerant gas that's still boiling out of the oil, which I don't think it is. So we may have a failure here. This will be one of the failures, a few that I've caught on video. I was not able to correct the leaking lip, uh, lip seal on the shaft seal of the compressor. We'll find out. All right, see you guys.